Hey, what's up, guys? Um, short video today. Still on a vacation, chilling outside. But I am no longer the bear that you think I am because I never was. Um, to be to be bearish on crypto is uh, a smart thing because sometimes the market is bearish, and now the market is well still bearish, but. I started buying and I will keep on buying and I will show you in this video what, when and why. Um, these are the most important things because sometimes people, they, they, they be like, hey, I, I bought uh, something and, and you'd be like, okay, I'm gonna buy it as well. Well, I want to give you some explanations with it as well. So what I am checking out right now is the Bitcoin cycles. And if we take a look at these cycles, as you know, I rely my thesis um, a lot on, on the cycles because so far it is playing out like playbook, right? We can't ignore that. And I'm not going to say like, well, you know, from tomorrow, it's all going to be different. doesn't make any freaking sense, right? So I'm not going to do that. Um, you can't go wrong with Bitcoin itself. So I have bought Bitcoin and I will keep on doing that. I am going to dollar cost $1,000 every week for the coming couple of months. Why? Very simple. If we take a look at the Bitcoin halvings, that's what it's all about. Um, that determines the four year cycle in crypto. And, and you know, a lot of people, they might feel like, yeah, well, you know, um, it's not gonna make a big difference to, to cut it for Bitcoin, right? To cut it in half, the rewards for the minings, for the miners. Um, over the long term, it definitely does. But it's not only about that, it's also about what lines up together with the same period that that happens. Because we also um, have elections coming up. We also have a potential recession coming up and a lot of people might be like, oh, that's super bearish. But if you get a recession, then the Fed has to print, right? So what I'm looking at um, is the halving and I marked it off. That's the, the blue lines that you see on my screen. In the pre-halving year, 2015 and 2019, as you know, it's mostly going half up, half down as we go towards the halving here as well half up half down and then when you know we got the halving we started our way up when we got the actual halving it took like you know two three months of going sideways um even going down here before you actually started going up so if the halving is uh and i will fact check that uh for the next video but if it's planned for around april you know somewhere next year then i feel like okay we have september October, November, December, January, February, March, give or take, and April, eight months. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking uh, like, okay, how much cash do I have that I'm willing to DCA and um, how I'm going to divide that? So for myself, I came to a uh, allocation of around $1,000 every week that I'm going to put into Bitcoin. Why Bitcoin? It sounds super boring because I'm not super stupid. Um, very simple. One, Bitcoin is the closest to guaranteed returns in crypto, right? Nothing is, but if something is, then it's Bitcoin, right? Altcoins, you're taking a gamble, right? And it's totally up to you how your risk reward is. Uh, if you feel like, man, you know, I want to make 100x, but I'm prepared to lose my money, yeah, then you can already start messing with altcoins. Uh, but overall, th that's not even the best strategy to go with because you can buy altcoins with your Bitcoin because Bitcoin is not only an asset that might go up in the bull market, but it's also your dry powder, right? You, you can use it um, to buy because a lot of uh, altcoins are paired with BTC, right? That's just what it is. Therefore, I take a look at certain charts, for example, the... Um, you know, the total three um, divided by the BTC market cap. And if you if you look at that, um, it's, it's pretty clear right here that, you know, it's in a good big downtrend, right? It's in a huge downtrend. And of course, we had two green months. But it doesn't mean that the downtrend is over, right? We here, we had basically four green months, right? One red in between, but overall four green months. But the downtrend was still halfway, right? Nothing, 
also according to this chart, is changed, that this time is different. Matter of fact, this time is playing out the exact same, right? And nobody expects that to be it so much the same, right? They would, they're like, oh, well, then it's way too easy and way too predictable. And because you don't expect it, it actually could turn out to be the same, <laughs> right? Because people, every cycle, they say, ah, this time is different. So far, it never was. Like every cycle is a little different, but overall. So what I'm doing um, is I start DCAing into Bitcoin. If the altcoin market runs without me, I'm good because Bitcoin will, you know, lead the bull market anyway. So if altcoins runs, probably because Bitcoin runs, right? So if this doesn't come down, which I don't expect though, right? I do expect it to go down, but then I, I make money with my Bitcoin. It's fine, right? We could talk in another video about how much uh, Bitcoin might go up. Um, because people always say like, yeah, Bitcoin's boring, just gives you a 5x. Oh, yeah, the worst cycle so far was a 17x. Like, it's not that bad. Um, but why no altcoins yet? A lot of people always, they, they, they fi figured like, uh, they want to make, make fun of me for saying that you should not buy altcoins and be careful with altcoins. Well, you know, it's still not looking that good. Uh, I mean, uh, if you look at the, the total three now, for example, I hope my internet is working a little bit with me. Yeah, you see that the total three is still making lower highs. This is on a monthly uh, time frame, but it's still going down, still going down. Right? That's not what Bitcoin is doing right now. Bitcoin was in the uptrend for the whole year. Well, altcoins, they, this was maybe a short lift uptrend before it got rejected again. That's it. That's the best they could have done, right? But also, if you buy altcoins now, you're taking a huge risk because one, you do not know if that altcoin is going to survive. And two, if it does, you do not know how low it goes before it does. So maybe an altcoin came from $10 and is now $1 and you feel like, ah, yeah, I'm a DCA. But it goes all the way to 10 cents and in the next cycle that $1 is the new top right given the fact that more tokens got vested more com uh, competition out there so that altcoin doesn't see its highs again then you, 10x is still possible but you bought the top anyway even in a downtrend a lot of people um it's quite funny how that works right we now have the gala coming out with some shit again that the two founders are suing each other right and there was a lot of shit going on for a long time with that already but now it got more public so now people are freaking out about gala i remember i said months ago like guys be careful with gala don't buy it yet it's still going down and i you know the shit that i got for it like yeah you should buy the dip you 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 stupid have fun staying poor uh, this and that Look where we are right now. Ah, uh, yeah, on its dollar pair, it's sitting at around the same level, definitely. But on its Bitcoin pair, it made a new low again, right? And that's already, well, almost twice as low now, right? So, therefore, again, it sucks to to that you must be patient, <laughs> but that's what it is, because again, Gala now it's sitting here at six six satoshis, right? In your you know, to, to make it clear, it came from 1400. It's now 66. So even on a, a Bitcoin pair, it's already down 20x, while Bitcoin is also down like, I don't know, 60, 60% 60 or so. So, um, therefore, and this, you know, this is just one example, right? There are way more examples, but you do not know how far something is going down. Right. How do you recognize that uh, when when such a downtrend is over? Well, if an altcoin, uh, very much like Benjamin Cohen said, in my opinion, like if an altcoin holds up against its Bitcoin pair while Bitcoin is going down, then you know, like, hey, Bitcoin is losing right here, but this altcoin is, you know, of course, then also losing on its dollar pair, but not on its Bitcoin pair. So if it was up for only that altcoin, it was doing fine. It's not Bitcoin that messes up the party, right? But you, what you now also see is that a lot of altcoins hold up, right? But that's just because Bitcoin is doing well, right? Went from 15 to 30K. 
but that's the only reason that altcoins are holding up if you look at illuvium for example right illuvium yeah same level at where, at where it was december last year definitely but if you look at its bitcoin pair where was that in december last year it was here right now we are here it's 40 percent lower already right so illuvium is holding up in its dollar pair only because bitcoin is <laughs> did it two x and that goes for a lot of altcoins and i can't help but wonder like okay well hmm, what if this cycle plays out like every other one and bitcoin goes down the rest of this year what happens to these altcoins then it doesn't look that good right and then it's the question like okay which one are going to survive it, it depends on a lot of things do they have enough runway Right? Can the founders still pay their, their, their complete team to, uh, you know, to, to work for them? A um, good example is like someone said, uh, I saw on Twitter somewhere, someone said like, uh, yeah, I bought, uh, I've sold my gala <laughs> because of the FUD, like the lows, and I have bought uh, Moonbeam. I was like, what? But then... Moonbeam is doing even way worse than anything else, right? Also making low lows, low lows, low lows, low lows. Every single week, every single month, it's going down. And then you look on DeFi Llama, for example, and you see that, you know, Moonbeam, it doesn't create any revenues, it doesn't create any fees, nothing. So this is way more likely to die than a gala. But just because there is some fud, people like to get the fuck out of there. That's your emotions. I have a small gala bag still. Not selling it. Not, don't, not selling it. Definitely not. I'd rather buy this kind of news than sell it. Um, so what I'm doing is... Um, do I have to hear? Yeah, I have a watch list right there. That's for the, I think, for the next video. BTC pairs, you see it right there. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to buy some altcoins. And what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to trade them for Bitcoin. So if you want to join me on that, keep watching uh, the videos because uh, some altcoins, they look like... Uh, let, me, let me check if I can find something. Um, random HBAR. Well, looks quite okay. Kronos. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's take a look at this. So, for example, Kronos token. This is something that I would buy. Why? Well, because on its Bitcoin pair, it had the bottom here in May 2019. It had the bottom right here in February 2021. And it now finds a bottom here as well. Now, right? Now, it's dangerous because you want to see it really have a steady floor right now, no matter what Bitcoin does, right? But because it already created quite a lot of support, I feel like, man, if Bitcoin goes up, if Bitcoin goes down, doesn't matter. As long as Crow is doing well against Bitcoin, right? This is a quite clear range to me, and it's now sitting at the low of the range. Can it break down? Yes. Am I screwed then? Yes. Is that a risk that I'm willing to take? Yes. Because you can make a lot more Bitcoin with this trade. I know for a fact that Joe is looking quite interesting to do uh, that with as well. Not yet though. Um, but if I, you know, take a look at Trader Joe, I feel like, yeah, okay. Especially if you put it on the weekly. If you put it on the weekly, you see it right here. It had a bottom here. June 2022, it had a bottom here. December 2022, it finds it again right now. It's now already pumping, um, so I'm not buying it right now. It's already coming down, by the way. But also, when these altcoins are really sitting at their Bitcoin support pair, then I'm interested. And guess what? I will have the you know the Bitcoin to buy it with by then. For now, I'm a little cautious with altcoins though. Um, but I like to trade some to get some extra Bitcoin. Um, but still altcoins are in the process of dying right a lot will believe it or not also maybe a couple that you have or like and you can say like nah not mine mine are too good okay if you say so i said so before as well and my portfolio went to shit please don't don't think that your uh, yours are all going to survive because you picked the best right if it was that easy then nobody would have got wrecked 
it's not how it works so anyway um we'll leave it there please like the video if you like the video let me know your thoughts below and see you soon